Hi everyone, this is Max, uh, owner of Logo. And in this video, I'm gonna be going through the new stuff in our next update for our Logo Bento heads. Um, for some heads, this will be the 2.5 update and for some of the heads, it'll be a 1.5 update. Uh, so there's two, other than a few bug fixes, there's two major additions in this update. Uh, well, one bigger than the other, but uh, both are highly requested. So let's go through them now. Uh, I am currently wearing the logo Quinn head with the uh, pink fuel Clara applier and her shape that comes with the applier. So I'm going to open up my inventory and I've got Quinn 2.5 unpacked. And the first addition is this thing here, the custom expression save bar. So I'm going to wear that. So what the save bar allows you to do is we have all these animations and we have all the new motion capture animations that we added. Uh, and the save bar will let you take any animation or combination of animations and add it to the bar so that you can access them quickly. Uh, I had a lot of people request that they didn't want the whole HUD up all the time. And also, um, you know, there's multiple pages and as I add more, there'll be more pages. So it gets a little cumbersome to try and access them all. Plus if you're trying to mix expressions from one page and the other, and also people that want to build random animations, this will also make it much easier. So let's go over how this works. So the most basic thing is you can just click any animation and then you click a button and that animation is now stored on the button. Uh, so same thing, I'll click this one and put that on number two. And so same thing now if you wanted to combine expressions. So let's go on to page two and we'll take the upper of, let's say, this one here go back a page and pick the lower from, let's say, how about this one? Let's see what that does. All right, there's an interesting combination. Uh, so we're gonna put that on number three. Um, you can also take just the upper or the lower. So for example, if you just want the smile, let's, so we're gonna take the lower of the smile, click start, and I can put that on number four. And this also works with um, the head movements as well. So whatever you wanna combine. So let's say I wanna make a sad, let's say take the sad eyes and the smile and add a shake to it. And she's looking a little embarrassed. So I'm gonna save that one there. And then I can take the same kind of thing and make a variation on it. So instead of the smile, I'll take the angry and try that again. So now you have a different expression. So I'm going to put it there. So now what you can do is you have these other buttons underneath and you can just add whichever ones you want to your random expressions. So now these will just keep playing at random and uh, you can see on the screen that uh, currently it's set to every 2 to 13 seconds, one of them will trigger. And now the, the way this is set up is I also have, I'm going to turn that off for a second. I also have the AOs, which are kind of 60 second long animations that run continuously. Um, so the other random expressions will work on top of that one. So if I turn that on every once in a while, the AO will have the other random expressions play over top of that. And so it gives you even more variation to whatever you want to do. And the way that it's set up, when you click the random button, it copies all the information to the head. So I can take this off and take that off. And the random expressions will keep playing. And you can still use the chat commands if you want to turn uh, it's random on or random off to turn them on and off if you don't want to wear the HUDs. So the other thing I'll mention with the custom remote bar is uh, if you need more than 25 slots, you can actually make a copy of that HUD and uh, wear two at the same time. So you can have 50 or however many you want. Uh, the only thing is the random button will only work for one HUD at a time. As soon as you click random on another one, it's going to delete your list. So only one HUD can work. But that way you can set up because uh, some people want sleeping HUDs or smoking HUDs or eating HUDs or whatever you want to do. So you can have as many as you want, really. Well, probably not as many as you want, but you can have a few. So let's uh take a look at the other thing and this is not a major feature but it's one that a lot of people have been asking for um so the other big thing is uh talking animations for voice so you'll see here there's nine animations 
uh, there's three levels of talking and that triggers depending on the volume of your voice. So you have low, medium and high and each one has three variations. So uh, what Second Life does is it'll randomly pick between the three for each level as you're talking. So I have these highlighted. I'm just going to right click and activate. Now this is going to look funny because I have a female avatar, but if I click the mic button and I keep talking, you'll see now her lips are moving. So again, these are motion captured as well. And the louder I talk, it should change. And if I talk very quietly, she should talk much more quietly. All right. And so that's basically how that works. And the last thing I'll mention is that the, the custom emote save bar, uh, we are going to have a version in the store for 99 Lindens um, that'll basically allow you to make your own custom AO sets using our animations and save them. And then you can either sell them or give them away to friends. Uh, the only thing is obviously whoever's installing, whoever's using the HUD will need to have those animations purchased and installed for them to work. But uh, I know a lot of people don't want to take the time to build uh, custom emote sets or play around with the different animations. So this allows uh, you to, to do it yourself and either sell it or give it away to friends. So I look forward to seeing what you guys all do with this new stuff. I think it's going to be very handy for some people. So uh, that's all for now. Thanks very much.